Hi, I'm Tealish and you're watching Coffee and Clicks. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe and click on the link tree found in the description of this video for links to my media content. Enjoy and don't forget, wake up and smell the clicks. Hi, I'm Tealish and you're watching Coffee and Clicks. Welcome to another Team Build with Tealish video. Um, really excited today because uh, we're going to be building a theme team, a plus eight Latveria theme team around Batman Prime from the Justice League Unlimited set. Um, one of my friends, Alex, uh, he was looking to build a team around Batman Prime, the uh, popularly known as Karaoke Batman. Because in the Justice League Unlimited cartoon series, uh, Batman, there's an episode where Batman is singing, and uh, he, you know, that if you if you look at his sculpt, he has a microphone in his hand, so um, it's a really cool figure, really cool sculpt, very flavorful text on his card. So let's take a look at um, a th uh, a team that I built for him and just for everybody at home. To look at it's a plus eight latveria theme team using batman prime so let's jump right in and take a look so first we're going to look at batman prime he is a he is set number 005b from J the justice league unlimited set he has six range with two targets he has the batman ally team ability he is 40 points um, he has Six speed with mind control, which he later gets plasticity. Um, he has 12 attack with incapacitate, which he later gets penetrating psychic blast. Um, when he, he has 18 defense with mastermind, which he later gets barrier. And then um, one damage with shape change, which he later gets probability control. And if you notice, all of his powers are blue. Um, it's because he... I guess in the cartoon series, the Justice League Unlimited cartoon series, he sings uh, I'm Blue, I think is the name of the song that he sings in the episode. Uh, and he's 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 mesmerizing everybody uh, with his his music uh, and his singing. So it's that's why people call him Karaoke Batman. But he's a very powerful figure. He's got the Batman family, detective, Gotham City, Justice League, mar martial artist, and police keywords which I will show you how we get him on a Latveria theme team uh, in a few moments. Um, he has improved tar improved movement hindering. He has a trait, something when gone, you can never regain. Free. For the rest of the game, Batman can, can't can use the Batman, team, Batman ally team ability. And whenever he occupies a clear skip square and is given a range action, to use incapacitate mind control or penetrating psychic blast. He can use improved targeting hindering and improved targeting out of adjacency and may instead target all opposing characters within line of fire. It does not say within range, it just says within line of fire. So you can sit Batman in the back of the map and as long as he has clear line of fire, he hits every other figure on the map, every opposing figure on the map that is within his line of fire, regardless of range. They could be on the other side of the map and he'll still hit them. Um, and he also has a trait that gives him colossal stamina. So you can push to those later clicks where he has penetrating psychic blast. And uh, keep in mind when he's targeting all of those figures, he's dealing his full amount of damage to each figure. It's not split, it's not divided up like you would if you were using multiple targets using the lightning bolts. 
Um, when he's using this trait, something went gone, you can never regain. And he, um, and he does that, and he targets all opposing characters within line of fire. They all take the same amount of damage, his full damage value, whatever that may be. And we're going to find ways to increase his damage value in a second. Okay. He can also use mind control. So don't, you know, keep it, keep that in mind. If you, if you don't want to use, um, you know, damage to try to attack the, your opposing, your opposing figures, you can also use mind control as an option. And don't be afraid to use mind control with karaoke Batman, uh, when you need it. Okay. Um, but we're going to find ways to increase his damage from a one. So let's take a look. He has 12 attack. Um, the next thing we're going to give him is that we're going to equip him with the power gem. Okay. So we're going to equip him with the power gem that gives him plus one damage. And it also gives him close combat expert and range combat expert, which are passive powers. So that's effectively, you know, at range, that's effectively giving him plus two damage and plus one attack. And then if he rolls a 10 or higher after resolutions, deal a, a single hit target, one penetrating damage. Okay. So that's going to really increase Batman's damage output because now that gives him a 13 attack, three damage. Okay. And we're going to, and we can get that even higher because now we're going to include a figure on the, on the team, Amanda Waller. Okay. And Amanda Waller is a rare set number 40 from justice league unlimited she's 35 points she has five speed with stealth 16 defense with mastermind one damage with a special she has the future justice league politician project cadmus spy and suicide squad keywords okay um during force construction choose a friendly character of 125 points or less with the batman family keyword that character has the future keyword. So now we're giving Batman the future keyword. Okay. As, uh, you know, and also Amanda Waller also has the future keyword. Um, at the beginning of the game, choose a combat value. This game, that chosen character modifies that combat value plus one. So in this case, I would probably choose damage on Batman just to give him now with the power gem, a f he would have up to four damage. Uh, just with Amanda Waller's plus one damage and also with plus two damage from the power gem that will give Batman a start four damage on his starting click. Okay. Then she has a damage power. I might be old, but I haven't lost my edge leadership outwit and perplex. When Amanda Waller uses leadership on a, on a result of a six, instead of the normal effect, she may remove an action token from a friendly character anywhere on the map. So that could be very useful, you know, and not to mention she's hard to kill. She's hard to KO because she has mastermind and she'll be sitting there, um, you know, masterminding to another figure. So, you know, if your opponent really needs to KO her, you know, it might be a little, might be a little tough to KO her because she's got mastermind and stealth and stealth. Okay. So we have Batman prime. We have the power gem, the Batman prime. We have the power gem and we have Amanda Waller. And so Batman Prime and Amanda Waller both have the future keywords. Keep in mind, this is going to be a plus eight Latveria theme team. So the next figure we need on this force is Doom the Annihilating Conqueror. Doom the Annihilating Conqueror is 75 points. Uh, he is a chase figure from the um, Fantastic Four Future Foundation set. Okay. Um, and also he can swap out into other doom chases. If you, if you happen to be lucky enough to have doom chases on your sideline, you can use them. Okay. So this is what he does. He's got 11, 11 speed with running shot, 11 attack with pulse wave, 17 defense with toughness, three damage. He's got eight range with single target. He's got the cosmic future Latveria negative zone and past keywords. Um, he's got a trait, the many faces of doom at the beginning of the game. You may choose a starting line of equal points on a character from your sideline that also has this trait. If you do replace this character with the chosen character. And so I'm not going to really get into on this video, the many different choices that doom the annihilating conqueror can morph into, but you know, you don't have to stay with him on your team. You can swap him out for another 75 point doom. 
and they all do different things. There's one that, that um, limits your opponent's use of bystanders. There's one that limits your opponent's actions. Um, there's one that gives that, that takes away uh, equipment from your opponent. There are many different choices that you can have uh, with doom chases on your sideline, you know, um, to use for this team. You know, and when, whenever you're using Doom the Annihilating Conqueror, you always want one or two or a few or as many as you can of the um, the many faces of Doom to start on your sideline in order to use to swap out. Depending on which, which, what 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 your team what team you're facing from your opponent. Okay. Um, he also uh, Doom the Annihilating Conqueror also has a trait Conqueror of Timelines during Force Construction. Friendly characters gain the cosmic future or past keywords uh, sorry during force construction friendly characters with the cosmic future or past keywords gain the latveria keyword and that is how we are getting batman and amanda waller on our team because they gain the latveria keyword so we will also have other figures with cosmic or future or past on this team and they're all going to get latveria during force construction. This all happens during force construction. Okay. So uh, that's how we're using Doom the Annihilating Conqueror. Um, and then he has another trait. Ah, the foe four. At the beginning of the game, opposing characters lose all keywords not printed on their cards. If plus one keywords were lost this way, Doom the Annihilating Conqueror has cosmic energy this game. Um, but, you know, that's only if you don't swap him out for another... Um, Doom Chase, because you can only really do one beginning of the game effect, I think. Or I think you have to choose the choose the order of your beginning of the game effects. Okay. Um, so uh, there you go. That's Doom the Annihilating Conqueror. Basically, he's on this team to uh, you know for the sideline because you can you can uh, you can bring in other Dooms and also for the fact that he manipulates keywords. And we can we can get we can actually get a lot of really good figures with cosmic future or past on our team using Batman and using Amanda Waller. Okay, so that's so so far we have Batman, the Power Gem, Amanda Waller, Doom, the Annihilating Conqueror, and so what's the next figure we're going to use is the Flash, super rare the Flash from Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary set. Okay, he's set number 53. Uh, we're going to use two of them, okay? So the first one is going to be 30 points, and the second one is going to be 20 points, okay? Um, so the 30-point version has to has to start on this um, first series of clicks here. You, you always have to start your 30-point flash on this one with the leadership, okay? Um, so... This one has um, a speed power that says speed you in and out of danger. Sorry, no, that's not the speed power. This one has a speed power back in the flash. Um, improve movement characters and charge. Once per turn, when the flash uses it, after resolutions, he may use charge as free. Okay, so that is his speed power. He's got a 12, 12 attack with incapacitate, 18 defense with super senses, three damage with leadership. He has the police team ability. And he has team players, so he can wild card another team ability. Okay, and that police team ability is going to help you out with against with uh, when when using Batman. Also, uh, when you're attacking with Batman, you're doing that full range uh, mind control or full range penetrating psychic blast with Batman. You can use the police team ability, and since you have two flashes, uh, the other flash um, at twenty points. Um, you know, because it does say during force construction, you may only add the flash at 20 points if you also have a flash starting at 30 points on your starting force. If you do, at the beginning of the game, you must choose a distinct starting line for each one. And they all have a 30 point value for all effects this game, including st scoring. So the other starting line that we're going to choose for the 20 point flash is going to be this third one here with sidestep and a special power. A special attack power, 18 defense with ESD with energy shield deflection, and two damage with probability control. Okay, um, that's that attack power is telekinesis. 
When the Flash uses it to place a friendly character after resolutions, you may place that character within two squares and line of fire of their current square. Okay, um, so that's really going to help us when we're equipping the power gem because we have telekinesis. Um, you know, he also has sidestep and it's also going to give us a prob and it just gives us some TK on our team to use if we need it. Okay, so that's really good um, for the flash. I was actually debating using the other the other flash with the enhancement uh, just to but I don't think we really need the enhancement because we have enough damage on Batman. So uh, I think this flash is the one that takes the cake here um, with the prob and the TK and the sidestep. I think that's the best one to use. So we have two flashes. We have Batman, Power Gem, Amanda Waller, Doom the Annihilating Conqueror, The Flash, The Flash, and now we need Barrier because the whole point of this team is really to um, shoot with Batman, uh, shoot everybody with Batman, and then Barrier up, and then rinse and repeat, and then do it over again. You know, you're going to shoot with Batman, and then kind of Barrier barrier up and so uh, the best figure out there right now that has barrier um, that will also fit on this team is Molecule Man okay I think I have him on most of my teams Molecule Man is just really really good probably the best third 30 point figure out there um, so Molecule Man is has eight range with three targets he's got um, cosmic energy um, team ability so he's not outwittable and he's uh, he's got willpower so don't forget to make those willpower rolls he's got a seven speed with flight and stealth um, 11 attack with incapacitate 18 defense with printed barrier and then one damage with outwit he also has a trait man molecular manipulation smoke cloud as free Free, roll a d6, and choose a number of non-debris terrain markers within range up to the result. Replace those markers with any combination of hindering, water, or blocking terrain markers. At the beginning of your next turn, remove all markers placed this way. Okay, so he could possibly, you know, produce possibly up to 10 squares of barrier markers because he can barrier four, four barrier squares with his regular printed barrier on his defense defense uh, value of his of his dial and then his trait allows him to possibly turn six smoke cloud markers into barrier markers for free okay and that's even after he's moved uh, he can do that um, that's it's really crazy what he can do with those barrier markers so he can uh, so he's just really good defensive figure um, on this team because you're going to use him for barrier a lot okay um, then we have uh, another figure that I thought was really important on this team is Nathaniel Richards Nathaniel Richards is uh, a rare from the future foundation set he's set number 43 this is his low dial at 25 points he's got six range with single target eight speed with leap climb 10 attack 17 defense with a special that says energy shield deflection and toughness and then two damage with empower okay um, i really wish he had enhancement here but that's okay because he does he does have enhancement on his 40 point dial but i still think i wanted to fit other things on this build so i wanted to use him at 25 points um, his real the, the real area where he shines is his trait genius intellect and skilled inventor free if Nathaniel Richards is holding or adjacent to an object, remove that object from the game. So he can go grab a light object and then bring it back if you need to. And then he, you can free free action to remove that object from the game. If you do, choose Nathaniel Richards or an adjacent friendly character and a standard attack power. The chosen character can use the chosen power until your next turn. So this is where you go grab a light object and then you can um, give Batman Prime penetrating psychic blast, right? Okay, because uh, you know, that's really the, the main thing that he's going to do. He's going to go grab a light object, come back next to Batman, free action, and then and then let Batman use penetrating psychic blast. And then he can, Batman, if you would look at Batman one more time, 
Um, he has, uh, you know, whenever he uses incapacitate, mind control, or penetrating psychic blast, he can target all character, opposing characters within line of fire. So, you know, he's targeting, you know, with a 13 attack plus whatever perplexes you use, and he's got four damage from the power gem and Amanda Waller. So you're, you're a full map, going across the full map, Attacking everybody within line of fire, full map reach, um, and dealing everybody four penetrating damage. And then they're you know they're going to try to get close to you. They're going to just keep trying to get close to you, but you're going to keep hitting them with a penetrating psychic blast every every time, as much as you can. Uh, they're going to eventually get close to you. You know you're barriering up each time so that they can't reach you. Um, and then, you know, we have 35 points left on this build so that we have room for one more figure and maybe some equipment. So what I chose was Dark Phoenix. Okay. Um, and Dark Phoenix is just going to sit in the back. And so if they do get close to you, they have to deal with Dark Phoenix before they deal with Batman, right? Because Dark Phoenix is a major threat. Okay. So um, Dark Phoenix has 10 range with uh, three targets. She's 30 points. She has power of cosmic team ability, which is now cosmic energy. She has um, nine speed with sidestep, um, 11 attack with a special, 17 defense with a special. She's a colossal. She's got three damage. Okay. Um, her trait feeding on life forces when Dark Phoenix KOs an opposing character or an opposing character takes more four or more damage from her attack. After resolutions, heal her one click. She may heal past her starting lines this way, but can't be healed in any other way, okay? So, you know, if she does KO a figure or hap happens to deal four damage to a figure, she heals past her starting line. And then, and then you know, then you have to hit her back to her stop click again, right? Um, then she has an attack power, Colossal Retaliation, Child of Light and Darkness. Free, if no friendly character has been placed this turn, choose an opposing character that attacked Dark Phoenix or damaged a friendly character since your last turn. Place Dark Phoenix such that she can make a close attack targeting the chosen character, then do so also targeting all other characters, friendly or opposing, within three squares. Hit characters are given an action token and are dealt two penetrating damage instead of normal damage. Okay. That's very powerful. And she has her stop click is stop impervious. So she does have a rollout there. Um, so, it, you know, if you're playing against her, you definitely want to use penetrating damage of some sort. Um, Dark Phoenix is really hard to deal with. She's a very good retaliator. Also, not only that, but she can attack smaller characters. Unlike a lot of retaliators from the past, Dark Phoenix is able to attack smaller characters even at her low 30 point line so with that sidestep 11 attack 10 range triple target she can attack smaller characters which is really good okay and then we have five points left left on the fit on, on the team and i figured even with molecule man being the only barrier piece we probably still need some more barrier somewhere so i chose the zero ring which is a mandarin ring that gives barrier and incapacitate and barrier as free, but only to generate one marker. Okay. So that is the team. I'll just go over it one more time. Batman Prime, also known as Karaoke Batman or Singing Batman, whatever, you, however you want to call him. Um, really, his, his actual name is just Batman. <laughs> um, Justice League Unlimited, set number 5B. Okay. Then we have the Power Gem equipped to Batman. Then we have Amanda Waller, the rare. Make sure it's the rare from Justice League Unlimited, set number 40. Then we have Doom the Annihilating Conqueror from Fantastic Four Future Foundation, set number 69. Okay. Then we have The Flash, set number 53 from Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary set. We also have another Flash, the exact same figure. Then we have Molecule Man, 
set number 44 from Fantastic Four Future Foundation set. <clears throat> Then we have Nathaniel Richards, also from the Fantastic Four Future Foundation set, set, set number 43. And then finally we have Dark Phoenix from X-Men, Dark Phoenix, X-Men, the animated series, set number G020. And then we have the Zero Ring, the Mandarin Ring. And I'll just put the picture back on Batman so you can see his sculpt. That is who we built around today. A plus eight Latveria theme team. This is all modern legal. Um, again, inspired by my friend Alex, who really likes Batman Prime and uh, really likes the Justice League and DC. And um, I built this team for him to, to uh, possibly use with Batman Prime. So... I hope he enjoys it, and I hope everybody at home enjoyed watching this video. This is another video, Team Build with Tealish video. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget everybody, wake up and smell the clicks.